Okay, morning guys. Welcome to the Monday session of the Guildford City Fitness live stream. Uh, hope you all had a great weekend and you were all sensible and you uh, V day celebrations, etc. Um, we're going to get going with the fly warm up, so plenty of open space, lots of water to, to drink, and we're going to go with two minutes of fly skipping. Start off. off. So with that, we're going to go in three, two, one, and go. Oh, Ruben, Charlie, yeah, yeah, Ben, Millie. Yeah. Morning, guys. Ollie, Matt T, Morgan. Uh, hope you're doing okay, Morgan. Um, you have to forgive me, I can only manage three names at once. So it was Ruben, Charlie, Millie. <laughs> uh, uh, Chris, Paige, Dave. Still, still uh, happy for Dave to make it in on time. <laughs> Alex, James, Sam C, Caroline, Cam, and Alex. Hey, uh, good morning, guys. And stop. That's definitely the hardest one to hold for a minute. <laughs> <sighs> Just throw in some normal skips in the middle if you have to regain your balance. Quick sip of drink and then we'll go for round two. In three, two, one, go. You got Pearl, Noah, and Rory. <sighs> Mr. Huggins. <laughs> and hope you, uh, Pearl and Noah, are doing alright as well. says morning. Uh, Julian says morning everyone. How are you doing today Tegan and uh, Julian? Uh, Michelle Ware says morning. How are you doing Michelle? Julian, I hope you can make it through the session without any more pet invasions. <laughs> Like you had over the weekend. And stop. Okay, after that, you have to do dorsal press into sit back. So, six reps as always. Just try and get as much separation between your hips and your fingers as you can here. And then as much separation between your hips and shoulders as you can here. Watching. You alright, Adam? Uh, Nicholas watching. And Lee's watching there as well. Oh, Lee's watching as well. You can join in if you want. <laughs> okay, six doors press, sit back. Then six angry, yeah. Happy cat. Elizabeth has signed in. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. So just get as much arch as you can, especially lower back. I don't think it's how it's officially taught, but I always find if you sit back, more you get more stretch in your lumb, uh, lumbar spine. Okay, then six walkouts, followed by six down with dogs. Okay, don't worry about rounding back on Walkouts, just get as much stretch in your hamstrings as you can. Straight legs. Okay, after the sixth one, just turn it into downward dogs. Go in and out six times. Bend your knees slightly if you have to. Morgan says it crashed, but she's back now. Everyone loves an IT problem on a Monday morning. <laughs> Did you try switching off and on again? <laughs> <laughs> so hips as high as you can, 
kind of force your head through that window between your elbows. And then prone arm recoveries and clap press ups to finish off. So lying face down. So I'll head out it last week. Start narrow. So hands by your sides. Make sure you don't smack the wall. And try to balance that against staying in the shot. So. Rotate your hands from by your hips up overhead. Keep your wrists and elbows as high off the ground as you can. And then as you go through, just try and get a little bit wider each time. Ugh. Okay, six of that, and then six clap press ups to finish. Um, don't worry about clapping if you haven't got time in the air. Go on your knees, just push off the ground hard. And finish off. Okay, so this week if you've had a look at the sheets, I've made a couple of little adjustments to the exercise order. Kind of make it a bit harder, so part two today you've got two push and then two pull. Instead of alternating, um, the rest in between the rounds, uh, the parts has been cut to a minute instead of a minute and a half, and everything else is pretty much the same. But also, you guys have a frog stance to start today off as well. So, make sure um, your supervision if you think you need it. If you're going to do wall walks as part of this, um, make sure you've had your drink. It's really early, so I'm, I've, I've fired through that or I've missed something. Right, so frog stance to start off. So 45 on, 10 off. Uh, rotation plank uh, without the push up. Jump to single leg land. So that's just gonna be jump as high as you can and then land on one foot without falling over. So stick the landing and alternate in between. So right leg isn't ready for it. So just like to limit the height, the more stable you get, the higher you want to jump, start using your arms. Um, but the idea is you're gonna start trying to improve that stiffness, it should start trying to help us manage some of those running niggles that we're seeing. So the more comfortable your leg can get from a single leg landing, the more it starts to improve uh, your comfort during runs. That being said, um, we'll get going. So frog stands, after you've had a drink, a couple more seconds. Fire in questions if you need to. And then we'll get going in three, two, one, go. So just drop in and out of frog stands, do wall walks, do inverted holds. couple of seconds. And two, one, relax. Okay, rotation plank, 10 second break. In three, two, one, go. So keep them slow and controlled. Spend a couple of seconds on each side. And make sure you lift your hip before your hand. So the hip starts to go, and then hand will follow. This really emphasizes that core control element. A couple of seconds left. And relax. So the vertical jump is a single leg landing. Two, one, go. 
So if you're not confident with the single legs, just do a little jump, practice alternating. Just make sure your knees under control. So if you land and your hips wobble, or your ankle rolls, or your knee shifts side to side, just practice smaller jumps, build them up, and make sure you absorb them as well. So you want to land into a single leg squat rather than landing with a straight leg. Some of you have done that before uh, accidentally, and you know what happens if you do that. Okay, stop there. Okay, then you've got divers to finish off the round. So 20 seconds on each side, I'll tell you when to swap. Two, one, go. Oh, that was in the way. So 20 seconds on one side. Reach your hands out as you extend your leg. And switch. So still going to 30 seconds off between rounds and then you'll only get a minute uh, once we've finished the last two rounds of this. Okay, so back into frog stands. Last 10 seconds, grab a drink. Two, one, go. So don't forget, whichever position you're in, you still want to make sure you're able to squeeze your abs and your hips as, uh, really hard so that you've got a solid core between your hands and feet. If at any point you can't feel it, drop back out of it. Start again, make sure you keep that squeeze. And push your toes through the door. Last five seconds. Um, relax. So 10 seconds off into rotation plank. Two, one, go. So control that downward phase as much as you can. So in the 45, you're probably only going to get four reps on each side to get the most out of the controls, the control part of the exercise. Last five seconds. And relax. Turn off into your jump and single leg landing. Three, two, one, go. Make sure you hold for at least a second. So rather than falling straight over. Make sure you take up on two feet as well. Fight the bottom position each time. Okay, and relax. So turn off, finish with divers in two, one, go. Um, <clears throat> Millie asks, how do you do a frog stand? 
Right, I'll talk through it, Millie. Um, if you're struggling, just do uh, wall walks like you do on Friday. Okay, switch sides. Okay, and for people that have got ankle issues at the minute, just swap the jumps for normal squats. And relax. That's it for round two. Grab a drink. So frog stands, Millie, and anyone else. So the hands on the floor. Make sure you screw your fingers into the ground. Try and turn them away. You want to plant your knees behind your elbow, above your elbow, in the back of your arm. And then just start, start trying to tip forward. I'm going to set everybody off. In three, two, one, go. So from there, just start to tip forward a little bit with your hips up. And just try and balance. So the same principle as doing the handstands, just tip forward and hold yourself in place. Then keep your feet off the ground. Maybe start with one foot on the floor and one foot off. And just do a couple of seconds on and a few seconds off. Um, I used to do it with my elbows between my knees, but it doesn't transfer quite as well. And make sure you've got a cushion in front of you for a bit of protection if you do tip. Relax. You guys wouldn't have seen it, but I did actually roll forward into, into the TV unit last week during the youth video, uh, the age group video, sorry. Uh, rotation plank in three, two, one, go. So I'm not the only one that needs adults and provision sometimes. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> That's why I've got a producer. <laughs> so especially for you guys, I think slow rotation planks are going to be much more effective than just uh, racing through them. Five seconds. Two, one, relax. Okay, into jumps. So yeah, if you don't feel comfortable with the landings, just turn it into a double leg landing or just do squats. Two, one, go. So if you find that it's too early, you just can't handle the balancing part of it, go for a big jump and try and absorb that landing. So when you hit the floor, try and uh, stop yourself falling into a full squat. So you're more interested in how well you can stick and absorb the landing. There is a point, so if, you, if I over jump, go kind of my right. I'm cheating to absorb it. Relax. And then divers. In three, two, one, go. So if you're still waking up a little bit, which I think I am today, just go for the single leg RDL into arabesque. And then start feeding in the overhead reach. So it's sides. So you've got that straight flat back, that straight support leg. And relax. Okay. So one minute of break today, a little bit shorter before we go to part two. So it's a double header of upper body push and upper body pull. Which like I said, we've been alternating. So without having to make each exercise a lot longer, hopefully it'll be a bit more challenging. So you go press ups straight into dips and then versus row into pull over. About halfway through the rest. Oh, I need bugs, I've got my bag.
books work just as well as backpacks for pullovers because you're more focused on reach and scat control. So, 10 seconds left, grab a drink. Here's the push ups and then dips. So, three, two, one, go. So, if you're alternating stance on these, stick with normal and wide. Make sure you make an arrow with your elbows so your hands are screwed into the floor, you're trying to twist the floor apart. Keep your elbows behind you. Get 10 more seconds. And relax. 10 off into dips. Two, one, go. Ease yourself into them, slow and control reps. Hold the bottom if you want more of a challenge. Instead of going really low, then bouncing back up. Okay, so the 10 15 left. Still more interested in having a straight back, so if you start to round your lower back at the bottom, try lifting your feet up. And three, two, one, relax. Then inverted row, so under the table. Two, one, go. Try and vary up the tempo. So with your gym sessions, you've been doing a lot of slow work. So try and do some more explosive reps here. And pull yourself up through the table, drive your elbows down. Relax. Turn off, finish the round with pull over. So feet up off the ground. Two, one, go. Uh, again, for people that struggle with their arm position. So if I get to about here, my left elbow, left shoulder, feels a bit weird. So just hold that position until it feels more comfortable. Come back to the top and then go again and see if it feels any different. And as you do them, try and keep control of your shoulder blades. And relax. Throw you off back into push ups. I keep calling them uh, push and press ups in, interchangeably on the sheets, but I think you all know what I mean. A few seconds left for a drink, and then we're going back into press ups. Just did it there. <laughs> Two, one, go. If you want to really challenge yourself here, you can start doing deficit push-ups. So there's books that you're using for pullovers. If you set those up, make sure they're about the same height. Hands apart. Fifteen seconds left. You 
you'll have a lot more stretch in your chest and once you get good at these it makes normal push-ups a lot easier. Two, one, relax. And dips. Three, two, one, go. Push yourself as high as you can at the top. Don't just finish. Really lock out and squeeze your triceps. So you're trying to produce as much force and actively drop your shoulders down to the ground as possible. Last five seconds. And relax. Inverted row. Three, two, one, go. If you haven't got one of these tables, use a towel. This is if you see inverted row on the sheet, do a, a towel squeeze. Try elevating your feet. It's the usual ways to make it harder. Have your feet slightly higher. Um, have a small weight on your stomach. Change the tempo. Just within a week, make sure you do a different set of tempo. So if you're doing really slow on the gym programs, go really fast here. Get as many reps as you can. Try and do more on each round and relax. Before you go to pull over, Two, one, go. Hopefully your transitions are a bit more graceful than mine. So, so try and prioritize hovering at the bottom for as long as you can, pulling back in using your lats, so imagine your lats are pulling your elbow down. And as you go overhead, pull your hip bones up towards your ribs. So you should have quite a lot of core going on and relax. So don't just think about the overhead arm bit, think about keeping your stomach very tight as well. Round two. Round three, sorry. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Actually, I'm gonna set up the deficits again. Or even start trying to put these into the gym program. It's a really easy way to create more overload without adding weight. Shocking them harder compared to normal. It doesn't look like a lot more, but try it, you feel so much more stretch. Three, two, one, relax. Back into the dips. Two, one, go. And no matter how deep you go, which your elbows are always pointed right behind you, so deliberately pull them back. Because if you don't, it doesn't hit the long head of your tricep. So, for those of you, Sam Neal, that's running an 800k bench, it's going to be more to your advantage. That was more of a call out than anything else. 
flax, because I know you nailed hips anyway. Okay, inverted row. In, two, one, go. easiest to do quick reps when you're normally used to doing short and slow which is why you've got to make sure you're doing all of them last few seconds before you go into the last exercise and um, relax Three, two, one, pullovers. So in terms of core work, it feels a lot more like I'm doing a hollow hold. Uh, rather than a, the top of a dead bug. You could do these with weights on your shins, but we don't, we haven't, haven't done it for a few weeks though. So if you go like that, and relax. Monday session done. So into your cool down. I'll call times for stretches. But I'm going to do foam rolling. Now's the time if you still want to, if you want to talk to each other, reply to me, ask questions. This is the best chance to do it. Um, three, two, one, go. So the knee to hip. So sort of extend. So the more you try and lift your heel towards your hips, the more it's going to stretch your quads as you're rolling yourself to hit different parts of the same muscles. Try and take your other leg off the ground and switch sides. You never really want to have both legs on the roller because it just it gives you too much support. Um, if you find that painful, there's probably other things you should be doing. Because you must be on, have two legs in the roller to stick with stretching until you can get used to that sensation. Because this, that's just circus play. So rotate your leg up and down as you go. Should be on this side. So as you move up and down, rotate your leg and bend your heel, heel up as well, into hamstrings, in two, one, go. And the more you can sit up as well, I think I went over slumping didn't I? So if you want, you can do this sitting on a table. Slouch as much as you can, then just lift your foot up off the ground, straighten your knee. Okay, switch sides. Walkouts is another good way to test this. So if you do this for a little bit and then try and do a walkout, you might find you can get low with your back a bit straighter. I'm sort of running out of ways to describe this one. It feels more like a shock than it does like a, a painful stretch type reflex. Right, hip. 
two, one, go. For a bit of a balancing act, to sort of raise your foot up if you have to. But the main thing is that you want to be moving your leg around. So whichever hip, whichever glute you've got on the roller. Well, I'm sure it's more embarrassing to do than it is awkward to watch. And switch. So again, again oh, it's more painful if you go forearm instead of straight arm. You actually get more balance because you're lower to the floor, but it also means you get more weight bearing down on the roller. So you don't have to move. You just stick in one spot. See if you relax after about 15 seconds or so. Maybe you don't relax, but you just get more tolerant to, to that stretch. And you'll feel amazing when you're done with that. Into the lats. So your hand for does more work. You're rocking your backwards and forwards than your legs do. Arm off the floor. Sometimes it might not always feel the same. Which is why it takes a lot of, I don't know, probably takes about 10, 15 minutes total, not in one day. But by the time you've done five or so sessions, you'll start to figure out how your body responds to certain types of session. So always bear that in mind. If anything changes, you've got to give yourself a bit of a grace period. Especially if you find something that feels really awful. Foam rolling always does when you start out, if you're not clever. But after a week or so, you might find what used to be annoying is quite comfortable. Relax. And then chest. So Ellen referred to this as self myofascial release on the talk last week. Um, mentioned how a lot of top athletes will do this rather than go to a massage therapist. One, it's cheaper. And two, it just teaches you more about how to adapt, uh, how you adapt to exercise, what stress does to your body, as in physical stress. Mental stress can affect it too, but that's not really my domain, so I'm not going to talk to you about it. And that educational curve that you've got to go through to make the most of it <clears throat> is partly why you get so many scam therapists that will charge you a fortune for a, for a, uh, a massage. Or they'll take your money to keep going back for massage again and again. When you could learn how to do it for free and spend the money on proper food, etc. That's chest on. Don't forget neck and ankles. Fit those in as well. Uh, watch Ellen's talk tonight at six o'clock on Facebook. Um, always make sure you go back and catch up. Um, if you go back to the first couple, they've got a lot of you, so it's obviously not just you lot that are watching them. The content is absolutely worth its weight in gold. So don't, uh, don't pass it up. And then challenge today, you've got skill, isn't it? So responsibility challenge, 30 minutes working on a new skill. So Millie, for you, that would probably be uh, frog stands. I, they're a real pain to do if you've, got, if you've been sweating and your back of your arms are wet. Um, so make sure you work trackies or something. But another easy way to improve them is to have a block. So you need a lot of people to charge a fortune for yoga blocks, but if you have something to elevate your feet with, it becomes easier to stack your hips up. Like that. Have a cushion. If 
you do tip forward onto your head, to be fair, it's better to relax and go back to the beginning because you're not going to develop any shoulder stability from that because you've got too much contact on the floor. Um, have a look online. The main thing is you're trying to balance your legs on the back of your elbow and hold your feet off the floor. And like I said, even if that's just one foot, it takes a lot of practice. Um, did I miss anything? No questions, fire them off. You can either get me on WhatsApp or on here and I'll answer them later. Um, that's it. So have a great day guys. And then from everyone else at Gilbert City, I want to thank you for watching. See you later.